Tableau is one of the fastest growing data visualization tool used in business intelligence industry. Tableau has a number of products and Tableau Server is one of them. Tableau Server is specifically used to share the workbook and visualizations that are created in the Tableau desktop. Hello everyone, this is Pracheta from Edureka and today we're going to talk about what are Tableau Server. But before we get started, if you're new to our channel, please subscribe to the Edureka YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Also, if you're interested in an online certification course, please check out the link given in the description below. So without any further delay, let's move on to our today's agenda. So in today's agenda, we're going to cover the following topics. So firstly, we're going to talk about Tableau products. Then we will see what is Tableau server. Then we will talk about the differences between Tableau server and Tableau online. Next, we will discuss the components of Tableau Server, the architecture of Tableau Server, and finally, we will look into the installation of Tableau Server. So to start with, what are Tableau products? So Tableau has a number of products like Tableau Desktop, Tableau Reader, Tableau Public, Tableau Server, and Tableau Online. Tableau Desktop is a paid desktop application where developers create charts, formulas, dashboards, actions, and other visualizations. The dashboards which are created here can be published to Tableau Server or Tableau Online or Tableau Public Server. It can also be opened in Tableau Reader. So that's about Tableau Desktop. Now Tableau Reader is a free desktop app which can help us to view the Tableau dashboards created in Tableau Desktop or Tableau Public. So Tableau Reader is basically a reading tool for the existing workbooks. But the security level in Tableau Reader is pretty low as anyone who gets the workbook has an access to it. Next, we have Tableau Public. So in Tableau Public, workbooks cannot be saved locally and it gets saved in Tableau's public cloud, which can again be accessed and viewed by anyone. So it is specially built for the cost effective users. So next we talk about Tableau servers. So Tableau server is basically designed to share workbooks and visualization that are firstly created in Tableau desktop or Tableau public. But Tableau server is highly secured and only the licensed users can have access to it. The admin of the organization has the control over the server and both hardware and software are operated by the organization itself. Next we have Tableau online which is again similar to Tableau Server only. So Tableau Online is also a sharing tool and the functionalities are similar to that of Tableau Server, but here the data is stored on the servers hosted in the cloud, which are maintained by the Tableau groups. So that's about the products of Tableau. Next up, let's discuss what is Tableau Server. So Tableau Server is basically a web-based platform where we can share our workbooks, reports, and dashboards made in Tableau Desktop but these dashboards can be accessed only by the licensed users. So the data security is very high in Tableau Server. Now let's look into the difference between Tableau Server and Tableau Online. So when we create a dashboard on Tableau Public or Tableau Desktop, and we want to share it across our colleagues, on the front end, there's absolutely no difference between Tableau Public and Tableau Server. So the main difference is where the data is being stored in the backend. So Tableau Server is hosted by the customers or the organization itself and their data engineers. So that way the data is accessible to only the users with licenses and only the admin and only the admin will have the control over sharing the data. Whereas Tableau Online is hosted by Tableau itself and it's a software as a service. So the organization do not need to purchase and maintain a new hardware for Tableau Online. Whereas for Tableau Server, organizations need to manage everything on their own. Upgrades, facilities, hardware, optimization, everything is managed by Tableau for Tableau Online, whereas Tableau Server is for organizations who focus on data security and complete control over the data workloads. So that way Tableau Online is a bit costlier than Tableau Server as Tableau itself manages everything in Tableau Online. So next, let's look into the components of Tableau Server. So there are total eight components. The first being Gateway. So Gateway is basically a kind of web server that helps clients to communicate to the server via HTTPS. So the server receives incoming client requests and directs them to the appropriate server for action. A gateway handles processes such as load balancing, traffic routing, URL rewriting, serving uh, static files to clients, serving multi-thread processes, and things like that. Next, we have application server. So Gateway interacts primarily with the application server, which is also known as workgroup server. 
The application server basically deals with login processes, domain authentication, data authorization, user or group permission management, content searches, etc. It basically works association with the server's repository and handles data access operations. So then we have repository. So the repository in Tableau server stores server metadata related to user permissions, assignments, groups, and projects. So along with the metadata, it also stores visualizations in flat files and performance data for auditing. So whenever a server service or component demands for metadata, it is provided from the repository. Also, it cooperates with the Active Directory to provide useful information to the app server for login verification process. Next, we have VizQL Server. And it is a very important component of Tableau Server as it is responsible for loading all the visualizations that you see and work on with Tableau. So basically, it has an inbuilt caching for performance improvement and editing tasks. Whenever a user requests a visualization or wishes to update an existing one, a request is received by the VizQL, and then it is converted into SQL statement and sent down to the data sources via respective data source drivers. So that's the job of VizQL server. And next we have data engine. So the data engine is another efficient component which handles processes related to Tableau data extract. It is invoked only when a query is short, which involves data from TDE. The data engine stores multiple TDEs and can run on multiple servers. Then we have Backgrounder. Backgrounder is an essential multiprocess and a multiprocess element that manages schedules for information refreshing and ensures proper functioning of the Tableau server and data engine. Penultimately, we have data servers, so which helps in centralizing the metadata management, driver deployment, and extract management. And lastly, we have search and license. So these are two very important components again. The search component manages the search indexing for the data in the repository, whereas the license component is responsible for licensing and configuration of the Tableau server. So that's about all the components of Tableau Server. Now let's look into the architecture. So let's see how all these components work together. That's about the architecture. So here we have multiple layers. We have five layers or sections in the Tableau Server. Firstly, the customer data, next the data connectors, then main components, then gateway, and then clients. So in the customer data layer, we have all sorts of data sources available for a Tableau user, like the data warehouses, data marts, files, cubes, and relational databases. Then in the second layer, we have the data connectors. In this layer, we have data engine, SQL connector, MDX connector, and the repository. So the data engine processes the data requested by the user and assigns the data type, decides whether it is a measure or a dimension, and then create TDEs. So at the background of the data, engine runs an SQL connector, which creates an SQL query for all the user requests and interacts to the data sources. The SQL connector primarily deals with the data marts and flat files. Similarly, the MDX connector deals with the multidimensional cubes. In the third layer, we have the main components that are the data server, VizQL server, and application server. So the application server takes all the user requests coming from the Tableau desktop, mobile and browser for accessing the visualization. While the VizQL is a patented component of Tableau, which means visualization query language. It basically works behind the logic of Tableau visualization and creates the visualization as per your instructions on the dashboard. In the fourth layer, we have the gateway. So the gateway is the gatekeeper of the Tableau server and any request or query sent by the client first hits the gateway or load balancer. So basically a gateway is nothing but a primary server which receives the queries and redirects it to an appropriate available secondary server. That is the worker server. So finally, the fifth layer consists of the clients where we can visualize the dashboards in desktop, mobile, or browser. So that's about the Tableau server architecture. Next, we will see how to install the Tableau server. So the setting up a Tableau server is a fairly easy process. There are multiple ways to install it on your system, such as automated installation or jumpstart installation, or installing Tableau in an air gaped environment, cloud installation, and Tableau online. However, in this slide, we will discuss how to install the Tableau server from the website. So firstly, you will have to open the Tableau website on your browser and click on the Tableau server from the products dropdown menu. As you can see in the slide here, from the products dropdown menu, you have the Tableau server. 
So once you select Tableau server, it will lead you to a page where you'll have this option of try it for free. So once you choose try it for free, you can download the setup as per your requirements. So here after this, you'll be led on to a page where you'll have a multiple options. Here we will choose on premises version. So once you select on premises version, you'll get a pop up where you'll have to put your business email address and download the setup file. So once the setup file is downloaded, you open it and select the location for the installed software files and leave the default. You open the setup file and select the location for the installed software files and then you click on the next button. So after that you will have an option of create new Tableau server installation. So you click on the checkbox for the authorization to run to activate the server. So then you click on the install button and wait for the installation to be finished. And finally, you can enter the product key that you've received in your mail and follow the registration process and complete the setup. So that's about installing the Tableau server from the Tableau website. So that is all about Tableau server in this video. If you have any queries or want to know anything more from this video or about Tableau server or anything about Tableau, don't forget to mention in the comment below. And please subscribe to the Edureka channel and like this video. So that's it for today's session. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it, and you can comment any of your doubts and queries, and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!